tongue is gonna make me sneeze. Oh my god, it's so good. Every time I vlog, it rains. Hey guys, okay, so today I am at Ulta, and I think the last time I went into Ulta was probably two months ago. Like, it's been a while. I have not also bought makeup in forever. Whenever I bought those Jaclyn Hill lipsticks, is the last time I bought makeup minus a foundation because, you know, I was getting tan and my face was looking pretty ghostly, which is actually the reason why I am here today. I need a darker foundation and I'm going to look for the ColourPop one. So hopefully they have that. Every time I go into my Ulta and try and buy ColourPop products, it seems like they're out. Like, I don't know if they just can't keep it in stock or if that's like the one of the most popular brands here at my Ulta. But yeah, and I'm also just going to look around and see what new products they have. So that's really fun. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. I don't want to spend too much though because I'm broke. So, <laughs> and I want to redo my room, which is going to be a whole other video. But yeah, I kind of want to do more vlogs like this one, do something more that's me, my speed, and what I want to do, what I want to film, you know, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, let's go ahead and go into Ulta. All right, so there she is. Let's go ahead and see what they have. And I am going to wear my mask. Um, Florida kind of has like this new thing where like you don't have to wear a mask especially if you're vaccinated I believe you still have to wear a mask in Ulta so we're going to follow the rules look how cute these are oh my goodness these are adorable the little Ulta set so this actually isn't the foundation I was looking for See, everything is literally always sold out, which sucks. Here's a new Smashbox Tinted Moisturizer. I haven't heard anybody talk about Smashbox in forever, but I do love this product by them right there, and this is really good too. This right here looks so cute. Oh my gosh, look at the packaging. Ew, it's by Morphe though, but it's so cute. Oh, but I don't like all of the other Kylie products. Alright, so I am back from Ulta. Okay. <laughs> and they did not have the foundation that I wanted, of course. Like, they actually didn't have it. And I could have sworn I've seen it before, but I guess not. Um, so I ended up getting... I walked around probably 30 minutes looking for a foundation, debating on if I wanted to pay a high-end price, like $30, or just go cheap, and I decided to go cheap. So, I got the Color Correcting ELF Camo CC Cream. Um, I've heard about this. I have not watched reviews on it, so I just went with medium 375 neutral, because every time I buy a light or light medium shade my face for some reason still looks ghostly so I was like you know what I'm just gonna go medium but that's the foundation that I got pray for me that it works and then you guys know that well if you know me you know I am obsessed with Spongebob I love Spongebob I want to get the new nautical nonsense palette anyway I got the fun it's about fun what's that purifying setting mist and I'm so excited about this and I love the description okay so listen to the description it says like plankton the gunk in your pores is small and sinister <laughs> refine them with the power of friendship using the fun purifying setting mist which will keep makeup looking just applied for hours and purifying the skin it has cinnamon extract to help reduce the excess oil and congestion, which is definitely me. You can see how oily my face is. That's not highlight. That's oil. <laughs> so I wanted to give this a try. It says spray anywhere, anytime. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see what it smells like. For some reason, I feel like it should have some sort of cinnamon smell, but I feel like that would burn the face. So it's probably just going to have like a purifying. Oh, oh, that smells like perfume or something hopefully that doesn't irritate my skin oh that's strong it's gonna make me sneeze <coughs> okay so I'm not a big fan of the uh, smell of it. it smells pretty strong 
So I'm gonna have to try that out more and hopefully it doesn't like irritate my skin. So if you are like sent like if your skin is sensitive, maybe don't get that. But it feels really nice and refreshing. And then I got the sponge case. I seen this and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. Look how adorable. It holds your little makeup sponge. And it's the SpongeBob's Pineapple House and this is $5.99. So I was like, it's so cute. I'm gonna get it for $5.99. This was $8.99 and this was <coughs> $14 with tax, it's like $15.97 or something like that. So that's what I got at Ulta. Yay, first Ulta haul in a while. And I spent a maximum of $31, which is good for me, so I'm proud. Okay, so here was the SpongeBob sponge holder. That's ironic, that's funny. And don't mind the Dirty Beauty Blender, but I just want to see how it was. This is actually like rubber or silicone, which is really cool. Look how cute this is, you guys. That is so adorable. I'm gonna set it right here. How cute. Oh yeah, that's dark. Oh my gosh, that is super dark. It's super creamy though. Oh God, that is way too dark. Well, that sucks. Now I'm gonna to have to go return it and get a lighter color. That is dark for medium. Okay, wait, you guys, I blended it out. It looks so much better now. Is that not crazy? Now it looks like it matches, especially with my shoulders. That's insane. Okay, so I definitely need to try it before I return it because after I blended it out, it looks like it matches now. That's so weird. All right, let's go ahead and go to Starbucks. I think we're gonna try a different drink. So, where's my phone? It's in my butt, it's under my butt. Okay, so, so I was scrolling on Instagram. I think it was Instagram. Yeah, this was on Instagram, because I remember I was like, well, they have a uh, app, because they get you with the Instagram pictures. They won't tell you the recipe, because they want you to download their app. That's how they get you. So they have a free version, and then they have drinks that you have to pay a monthly fee, which is their pro drinks, to unlock the ingredients of that secret drink that they made. So see, it says unlock, can you see that? Unlock all pro drinks. It's called the secret menu for Starbucks Pro. It says curated by professional baristas, built for true Starbucks lovers, and <laughs> new secret pro drinks added weekly. I'm, I'm using the free version because I'm not gonna pay for the pro drink, but you get a three free day trial and then it's $4.99 per week for Starbucks drinks. So, <laughs> there's that. They do have Disney drinks too, which is like, <gasps> That just captured me. They have an actual section that says Disney drinks. They know how to capture me. Disney and Starbucks, come on. What more could a girl need? It would be nice if it would load. It's not loading. Also, I feel like every time I vlog, it rains. Like, oddly enough, it rains. It's so weird. Oh, another thing that I think is really cool about this app is that it gives you all the ingredients but if you can see there you can choose tall grande or venti is it called? how do i want to say this i think it's really cool that it modifies like the ingredients like it tells you because sometimes when you find a secret starbucks menu it's always for a venti and maybe you don't want to spend that much because you don't know if you're going to like it which is me this gives you the options for a tall or a grande i do think that is a cool feature on this app all right you guys my camera keeps falling so hopefully it won't tip over it's not the greatest angle wow work with me here yeah that was an expensive drink oh you guys that is crazy I didn't think it'd be that much I hope I like it because I didn't order another one with it usually I order my regular drink with a drink that I'm trying just because I just in case I don't like it but I didn't do that <laughs> All right, you guys, so this drink right here is the Cotton Candy Refresher. It 
pretty much just looks like a pink drink. So I got a tall and how to order it for a tall is you order a pink drink, add two pumps of raspberry syrup, add strawberry puree, and then get vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. And guess how much this drink was? I'll give you a few seconds. It was $7.05. This drink is super pricey. I was not expecting it to be that much. I was thinking like $5.95 at the most. Heck no. So I bet the grande is probably close to $10. But let's go ahead and try this. The lady at Starbucks was such a character. She was so sweet and so funny. So let's see if this tastes like cotton candy. I'm gonna taste it with a straw and I'm gonna taste it as is. So. It literally tastes like a pink drink. I've never actually had strawberry puree in the drink. I don't know where the puree is at. It could be, I don't know. Anyway, I don't see the puree, but it says it has puree in it. But I don't taste like any, like, I thought it'd be pretty strong in strawberry flavoring. But honestly, it just tastes like a pink drink. $7. I'm glad I like it but I was expecting it to taste like cotton candy. Like, I bet you this has a lot of sugar in it. I bet you this is super fattening. And vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Oh my God, it's so good. If you have not had it, it's amazing. It instantly makes any drink 10 times better, but it just tastes like a pink drink. So save your $7 and just buy a pink drink. That's what this tastes like. Let's try it with a straw. Yeah, that's kind of depressing. I paid $7 for a pink drink. Yeah, pretty much. Don't want to say anything negative, but I was really hoping that it would taste like sugary, sweet cotton candy, because that's just kind of like what I was expecting. They did it exactly how it was on the website or on the app. So they did everything correctly. So that's kind of sad. Man, that was a lot of money for a drink to taste like a pink drink. I wasted an extra $2, so save you guys money. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure did enjoy making a video. I have not made a video in two, three months. It's been a while. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you would like to see on this channel. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.